Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me I have a couple CRVs. It's gonna be 2021. I have a CRV EXL, they have a CRV EX. This video is gonna be about what you're gaining when you move from that EX to that EXL. Now, if you're not familiar how the trim works for the CRVs here in the American market, you start with the lower level, it's gonna be the LX, you move to that EX the EXL, then that Touring. That Touring model is gonna have all the bells and whistles what the Honda CRV has to offer, all right? Now, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments, down in the description. I'm also gonna post a link that takes you to each of these CRVs so you can watch those individually from that point, all right? All right, let's show you what you're gonna be gaining. All right, so here we are, right outside of the two vehicles. Here on the right-hand side, we have the CRV EXL, then we have the CRV EX model. We're going from this to there. The whole exterior of these vehicles is going to be the same thing, all right? So I got the same color with the same interior option from that point, maybe ivory. There's roughly about a $2,500 price difference onto these vehicles, okay? Now, the rims, everything's going to be the same, like I said earlier. I just want to stress on that. Pretty much, you'll be gaining selective features for the inside of your vehicle. Now, keep in mind, only you can answer this question. I'd like to hear what you guys' thoughts about it. Does these additional features impact that much more worth that money? Only you can answer that because it's going to impact your daily driving that much more, okay? Now, over here with the EX model, you're going to have a manual hydraulic lift gate. With the EXL, you can have a power tailgate. You can use the key fob, you can use the bun, the bun inside, you know, power tailgate stuff. It's going to open, close. Everything here in the back is going to be the same with these two trim levels. Now, right over here, you're gonna be gaining leather. Up at the top right-hand corner, I have a nice little video too as well, just to show you the cloth for the EX model. Now, over here on the passenger side, you're gonna have power seating. Compared to the other EX right over here, you're gonna be gaining just the manual uh, seats from that point. Nice leather interior. Now, as we come over here along the driver's side, you're also going to be going to the 180-watt uh, um, eight speakers right in here. Compared to the other one's going to have six, so you're going to be gaining two more speakers um, when you move up. We're going to have two-seat memory. All right. So let's say it's the position of your driver's seat from there. You can have auto dimming rear view mirror. Then you're also gonna have the home link. Now additional, we're also gonna have leather wrap steering wheel. Then a leather wrap knob. All right, so there you go guys. Hey guys, thank you again for watching my video. Hopefully this video was helpful to show you guys the difference of going from that EX to that EXL, answer those questions. Once again, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. I'll do my best to get to those as fast as I can from that point. I'm also down in the description, gonna have a couple links. It's gonna take you to these particular cars, show you all the cool standard features and functions, answer those questions there for you too as well, okay? Well, thank you again for watching. If this was helpful, please feel free to show your support by hitting like, subscribe, and don't forget to share with a friend. This is Crazy Honda Chris, hoping you guys out. Talk to you later.